guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name's Ashley and I am the owner of Country View Monograms. I run two Etsy shops um, for embroidery full time here from my home office. And I'm going to bring you guys along today and show you how I use the Mighty Hoop um, hoops and the Mighty Hoop um, hooping station to monogram left chests or monograms on um, t shirts. So if you guys could um, give us a thumbs up for this video, that helps us out greatly. And if you'd like to view future content, we'd love if you could subscribe to our channel. So today we are going to be monogramming several unisex t-shirts. I'm just going to be putting a left chest logo or monogram on the left chest of several t-shirts as new samples for my monogram or nurse shop. Um, so today I'm going to show you guys how I use the five and a half inch Mighty Hoop that's made for my brother machines as well as the five and a half inch fixture and the Hoopmaster station. Um, I'm not affiliated with Hoopmaster in any way, but you can find any of these at hoopmaster.com and order them. They are an investment piece. I will say that up front. Um, when I started and I bought my first Mighty Hoop, it was this five and a half inch one. And I bought it, I hooped my monogram shirts just flat on the counter. I will say it is possible to do that without the fixture. However, it is um, difficult to get it straight. Um, so just one thing to keep in mind, if you want to start out and try them, they're great to use even without the fixture. So the next piece I bought was the actual station. I had a big order of Carhartt jackets where I needed to put a logo on the back. So I invested in this piece. Again, not cheap, but it has um, served its purpose and it's definitely been worth the investment. And then... Sometime later, as I was getting busier and doing more of the left chest monograms on shirts and hoodies, um, I invested in the actual fixture that you can use with the five and a half inch hoop. So each hoop size um, in the left chest sizes, these smaller sizes, has its own fixture. So you would need a different one if you had a different size Mighty Hoop. Um, but I'm going to show you how I place these today, how this station works, and then how I hoop and use these ho um, to monogram left chest on t-shirts today. All right, so I have my fixture here on the counter, and I do have um, my personal preference on sizes and the ho coordinating holes to use um, that I like, and I will show a close-up of those as well as include those in a description for anyone that wants to try those. My suggestion is, is if you're going to use these, is to hoop up each size and make sure that that's exactly where you like placement to. I know that's can be a little bit of a personal preference. So on this station, there's a hole here. And what happens is you have pegs on the back. So um, when you place this on the left side for the left chest, you're going to be looking down in and seeing one of these numbers. And I'll show you guys a close-up just shortly. Um, so this first shirt we're going to be doing is, let's see, it's a unisex medium. I like it either around 18 or 22. Um, and I'm going to show you guys that real quick. So here's the close-up of those holes that I'm talking about. So what I do is I take my hoop and then I find, there's 18 right there. For, like I said, this is a unisex medium. 18 or 22 is my preference. So 22 is right below it. Um, sometimes there's not an exact number that I like, so I kind of give a range. Um, so either one I like, I use. Um, I'm probably going to put this up on 18 because these are for me and I just, I'm okay with that. I'm going to put it on 18. So there you go. And I'll show this real quick as well. Don't mind my handwriting. So smalls, I use 17, medium, either 22 or 18, large 27, um, XL 28, and then 2XL through 5XL, like I've mentioned, those do not fit well. I believe you can get a board that's bigger and has more of the holes so you can go out further, but I do not have that. So what I do is I place it on 32 and then I just shift and adjust the shirt just a little bit. And if I have one of those shirts, I will show you guys how I do that. Um, so we are going to go ahead and set you back down. And I'm going to get this um, 
shirt hooped up for you guys. Okay, the first step to using this is to take the bottom ring of the hoop. Um, you'll want the blue side out, and I'm just going to set it down in the slot here. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is put your stabilizer on top of the bottom ring. So, like for most things, I use I use both a tearaway, that's real thin tearaway, easy to tear, and these are eight by eight inch squares, and they fit perfectly um, over this hoop. And then I also use a piece of poly mesh. This happens to be the six by six that I use on my jackets, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use that even though it's a little bit smaller. Um, so with these hoops, I don't really use adhesive spray, but I do just to attach the poly mesh because it's smaller and I don't want it shifting in the hoop. So I'm gonna take this, I'm going to open up these little flaps here. There's one big one on the bottom and then two smaller ones on top. There's also this little thing here you can lift up and put your um, stabilizer under. I'm gonna go ahead and just set that in there and close these down on it. They have magnets there just to hold it in place. And then that's all ready to go and it's ready to thread my shirt over the um, whole station. So like I said, I have a medium unisex shirt that I'm going to be working on. It's a comfort colors. I'm going to put a stethoscope design that has a monogram in the middle. So I'm just going to slide that over my station. The next piece that you're going to want to do is you're going to take the shoulder seams and line it up at the top. You're going to want to make sure that's even. You may also make note on your reference sheet, like with the numbers. Um, on this one, the collar comes down to E. And let me see if I can show that as well. And you'll see that, that com the collar on this style shirt comes down to about E. This is a medium unisex again. Um, that's going to vary depending, again, on size, as well as even the shirt you're doing. So you may have different reference points for different types and styles of shirts. All right, once that's all ready to go, you're gonna take your top hoop, it doesn't have anything on the back, with the warning label pointing upwards, and you're gonna use these nuts here, or screws, whatever you wanna call them, to go in these groove here on the fixture. So you're just gonna set that in there, and then we are ready to hoop our shirt. And it's super easy at this point, literally all you have to do is push it down, those magnets are going to engage and you're gonna have your hoop, your shirt hooped perfectly. Um, like I said, the nice part about this is, is if you're doing mini shirts or want to be super consistent, this really helps you with that because as long as you're using the same numbers and the same neckline and just hooping those, making sure your seams are straight, you're gonna have the exact same placement on each item. So I'm gonna go ahead and hoop it. Like I said, it's very gentle pressure. You just push down and it engages. It pops up, and now the whole thing, I'm just gonna take the little, it out of the, the grooves. Now we're hooped. We have nice, tight surface. You see the stabilizers in there, and it's, like I said, nice and hooped tightly and ready to go for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these over to the machine. And so I've brought my shirt and my hoop over here to one of my brother 10 needle machines. Um, I have to move the, the arm back here in when I use this. Um, this is the eight by 14, then there's like an eight by 12, and then there's the um, setting that would normally be for one of the brother stock five by seven hoops. That's the one that I use with mine. Um, that may differ, like I said, because I buy the six needle version of each machine so I can use it interchangeably, including on my six needle. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and find my design. I transfer mine by computer cable. Um, I always recommend if you're using Mighty Hoops, since the machine does not recognize this size hoop, it thinks you have an actual bigger hoop than you do. You should always, always, 
always trace first. So you want to hit the trace button. It looks like this um, square right here. It shows you which needle it's using. And that's perfect. I knew that would fit, but like I said, it's a good practice to always trace before you start with the Mighty Hoops. So this next shirt, this tie-dye shirt, is a v-neck women's shirt. It is, like I mentioned, a women's or ladies cut shirt. So I'm not going to use the same um, unisex size references that I normally use. It's probably going to be a little bit different. So I'm going to show you guys how I quickly um, find where I like to place the monogram. I'm going to use my little dot stickers from All Stitch to place on there and then I'm going to try to line it up using the board still. So what I do is I come down from the, the corner of the shoulder seam, come down, and then I look at the um, sleeve and I go about halfway. So that's right there. I'm going to place a dot sticker right there. That's probably about the top of my design. That's probably going to be approximately six inches down. I don't keep a ruler out. I probably should. Um, these are six by six. I often use these. You might see me using these for a size reference because they're six inches. So five and a half to six inches is a good amount down for the top of your monogram or logo. So that's six inches would be here. That's there. That's about five and a half. That's about perfect. Um, so my monograms are about three to three and a half inches. Um, so that'll be, I don't know this. So this right here is about where I'm going to place or where I want the center of my monogram to be. I'm actually probably going to adjust it just a little bit. This is the v-neck. I'm going to push it just a little bit so I make sure I have enough room here. Um, and once I get this on my station and make sure I get the fixture itself where I like it, I'm going to make reference of these so that way I don't have to do this every time in the future. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and see what number I like for the, it's a size medium ladies v-neck cut. I went ahead and started it at 17. That's what I use for a small unisex. I'm thinking those might be comparable, um, but I'm going to go ahead and get this hooped. I'm going to put this just in here. And then I'm going to thread the t-shirt over like I have with the other sizes. going to actually going to be hmm, maybe a little bit too low. Well, maybe. All right. So I think I'm going to have to push the fixture. This is the center and this would probably be like the center of the hoop. So I'm going to push the fixture this way. Let's go up and maybe over. Let's try two. That 
might be okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this hoop on there and then so we can actually see exactly where it is in the hoop. Okay, that's actually pretty close. It maybe will be just a little to the left of where my dot sticker is. Um, I use these um, holes as reference. That's kind of your um, center of the hoop. So the center would actually be like right about here. And that's pretty close. I think I'm happy with that. So each time it'll come out to about here instead of here where I was um, put this for reference. So I used it's number 15. I'm going to write that down for my own reference um, on this medium ladies cut v-neck shirt. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining us today while we made these three new monogrammed t-shirts using our Mighty Hoops. I hope this was helpful for those of you that have had questions. Um, I always want to be a resource for you guys, so if you have any suggestions for other videos you would like to see, um, that you see me using certain equipment or certain techniques or certain things um, in my work with me, um, just let me know down in the comments, and I would be happy to see if I can get a video put together for you guys. So again, thanks so much for um, joining us today. We'd love if you guys could give us a thumbs up as that helps us out tremendously. And then I would also love if you guys could subscribe to my channel um, so you guys can see all our future content. Um, until next time, guys. Thanks. Bye.